Hello techies welcome back to the channel my name is Krishna and I am a big data tester so today's video I am going to speak about how this 2023 can change your life what all theoretical parts you have to learn and what all uh, practical you have to do which can change your life in this 2023 how you can become a tester all that I am going to speak about today so let's get started with the video As I have told multiple times that data is the next gold so that's why uh, today's generation we have to learn data so in this video I am going to tell you how you can learn testing how can you can become a tester within next two months what all you can learn so I am a data warehouse ETL data warehouse tester so what all you have to learn to become a data tester so these are some of the things you have to learn you have to learn what is database so in detail you don't have to go in depth of learning all these things what is database what is data warehouse all these you have to learn but from the aspect of testing so learning about first you have to learn about database what is database what is delimiter what is table what is column those simple things simple definitions you have to learn for your understanding so if you are from an engineering background you would have already learned about these things so you can brush all this and this should not take more than two hours in total so the total duration of this learning is only two months from third month onwards you can start looking for a job and by fourth month you can easily crack an interview first let me start first you have to learn database what is table what is column what is delimiter what are data types what is data size all this you should learn so this will hardly take you not more than two hours if you just spend time learning half an hour daily you can cover within two three days or if you're just trying to spend time on weekends so only on saturday itself you can learn so you have to uh, be focused and learn if you're learning on weekends spend at least five to ten hours daily to practice so within this two months you can crack uh, database testing so first of all you have to learn databases second i would say you have to learn about database management system what is database management system and that also should not take you more than three to five hours not more than five hours so if you spend time on a single week you can complete database and database management system so the third comes is what is data warehouse so you have to learn what is data warehouse what is data mart what are the different models what are the different schemas i have already covered most of the video in my channel uh, you can go to the playlist and see the data warehouse concepts so you can learn data warehouse concepts from there uh, most of the data warehouse concepts are covered those are little longer videos if you watch it slowly it will make things very clear so just you have to watch those videos and a little more learning so i have already created a playlist of the roadmap you can go there and learn those topics whatever topics i have covered those topics will not take you more than two months to complete if you spend at least uh, five to ten hours on weekends that is on saturday and sunday if you spend around 5 to 10 hours 5 to 10 hours on saturday and 5 to 10 hours on sunday so this is like you have to sacrifice some of the things some of the satisfaction some of the pleasures you have to sacrifice for just two months by third month you can start looking for job and by fourth month you can tell me the good news so the first one is database i have already told you second one is database management system and the third one is data warehouse concepts which i have covered most of it in my channel and some of them I'll be coming up with more videos and uh, the list of what all topics you have to cover is already there in the roadmap series. So watch those videos, uh, learn from internet. You don't have to go in depth to what is the star schema, snowflake schema. You have to just learn what is star schema and snowflake schema because from a people with uh, five to uh, seven years of experience or maybe less than that, they are not expecting you to uh, give a very uh, hefty answer or so very detailed answer. They are expecting you you should know about the topic and should be capable enough to work in the project so you don't have to go in detail you just have to focus and learn everything in the creamy layer itself you don't have to go in detail so first one database is completed database management system is completed and data warehouse these three are theoretical topics which you have to cover and then comes the most important part which is sql so sql you have to go in detail and not in the detail of uh, the ddl commands but more of detail in the ddl dml commands the data manipulation language command you have to see and mostly in that itself you have to learn mostly only select statements the different where clauses group by clauses order by clauses these are some of the things and uh, the joins 
there are five types of joints you have to learn joints you have to learn union operator uh, maybe set operators union union all minus intersect all that and sub queries so this will actually cover most of the sql that you should know because they are not expecting you to learn indexing and uh, partitioning all that is not required if you know it is well and good if you don't know you don't have to worry about it you mostly have to cover sql where you can write select statements from a person with 5 years of experience they are not expecting you to write very complex statements okay so i have already explained how, what all you can do you can install db viewer and you can practice sql there and if you want a video separately on each topic what is database what is database management system what is data warehouse what all to cover please comment in the comment box i will try to make videos on that so we have completed database database management systems and then we have completed data warehouse and then sql part please learn at least one concept and practice it in the system install any of the uh, database and practice sql and the third part is unix you have to learn unix because some of the legacy uh, projects are based out of unix so you have to learn unix or linux commands so i have made already a, a series of unix for tester so please watch that playlist in my channel and the moment you complete that playlist and practice whatever i have told that is more than enough it should not take you more than 2 hours to practice unix 2 hours is more than enough so database management system you need just 2 hours uh, database just 2 hours database management system 5 to 10 hours and data warehouse also 5 to 10 hours and sql will take a lot of time around 20 to 25 hours uh, if you spend 1 hour daily also you can complete within 1 month so that is uh, sql and unix you just need 2 hours 1 hour to learn and 1 hour to practice 2 hours is more than enough to complete unix and then you have to learn little bit about what is testing okay so what is unit testing what is integration testing regression testing these are the different types of testing so you should know what are these type of testings and what are the different models like agile model sequential model waterfall model v model you should know from perspective of answering in the interview you don't have to go into detail okay and what is scrum model you should know from the perspective how you can answer in the interview you don't have to go all in this topic in detail you should know this manual testing concepts and you should know little bit about ETL testing concepts so what is active and passive model what is uh, what are the different types of transformation in ETL uh, so these are some of the things you have to learn what is STM was what is a BRD different types of documents that is there for testing and then what is um, I said slowly changing dimension so this will complete your ETL testing so this will also take around 10 hours of time completing around ETL testing. So this will be new. So it, that's why I'm taking considering a little more time because it will take time to learn and time to practice for the interview. Okay. And finally, you have to learn about what is BI, a business intelligence, what is BI testing. So that is also that you can cover within two hours. You don't have to practice a lot, but you need to practice how to write test cases for BI testing. That should be more than enough. So this is all you complete. Uh, to become a full stack tester uh, so you start from manual testing so what is front end testing ui testing ux testing so that is manual testing so you can apply for manual testing role you can apply for etl testing load you can apply for database testing load that is the back end testing role database testing role you can apply for data warehouse testing role you can apply for bi testing role you can apply for unix testing so there are the different six different role you can apply for the moment you complete these all topics within two months within two months you can you will be eligible to apply for these six six different roles and coming on to preparing a resume having a, a project in your resume so this will take some time and uh, for to know more about this detail you can book a one on one with me uh, the link for booking a one-on-one -on -one is in the description box or you can go to the channel about page and there you see one-on-one -on -one. you can book a one-on-one -on -one where I we can discuss about how to create a resume and how to attract the charts and how to projects and I can give you some sample projects which you can add to your uh, resume and that should be good enough to get a ETL testing or a data warehouse testing or a database testing or a BI testing or a Unix testing role in the coming 2023 year I uh, wish you a very happy new year to all the people who are watching the video and uh, all the best and um, please practice all this within uh, the next March or April if you start now within the next March or April you can become a tester a full stack tester from manual testing till the time you reach BI testing the whole process you can know and if you are not interested in the whole process but it, at least two or three you can easily learn within this two months and by March a lot of new openings will come as the financial year will end so in from the month of April you can start uh, your interview process and by May maybe you can uh, thank, say thank you and uh, 
send some sweets <laughs> so thank you for watching the video if you like the video please press the thumbs up and it's give me inspiration to make more such videos and please comment if you are looking for any other topic that i should be covering in this channel and uh, share it with all the friends who are desperate to get a testing job and if they think uh, testing is very difficult please share this within this 10 minutes of learning and uh, two months of practice and three or four months you can get a testing role with a very good salary so all the best and uh, thank you. See you next week. Bye bye.